The practice of female genital mutilation and cutting is a very old tradition. Some authors have linked its origin with uh, some sort of discriminatory practices against the women. The practice originated as a form of control over fidelity of women, particularly when men were obliged to leave their household for a long time. So it was created as a form of oppression to make sure that women remain faithful to their husband. We ask girls and women, what are the advantages of this terrible practice? And in most countries, the majority of women said it's because of social acceptance. This is felt a social obligation that women need to fulfill for them to be accepted, for their daughters to be accepted in their communities and their societies. These women sense that this is what is expected of them from their neighbors, from their husbands. In some cases, they think it's a religious requirement. And women, more than anybody else, knows what it means to be discriminated in a society. And therefore, they are trying to uh, prevent their daughters from being discriminated by cutting them, because this is the norm in the society, in the community where they live. We need to break the sense of social obligation if we really want to put an end to the practice of FGMC. So everything starts with talking about FGMC as something that exists in a different society as well, and in promoting awareness of n and knowledge of the risk of associated with the practice of female genital mutilation. So my name is Claudia Kappa, and I am the focal point for data collection and data analysis on harmful traditional practices in UNICEF New York.